Today we're going to look at a position review from a photo that someone sent in. So let's get started. If you like to get tips from a horse show judge, improve your riding, or just like other horsey related stuff, then you are in the right spot. Subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. So let's get started. So here's the picture that was sent to me, one of the pictures that was sent in, and what is your first impression of this picture? My first impression was, wow, look at this. This is a lovely photograph, and I was just so impressed with this horse and rider. My first impression was just jeepers, what a great horse. Look at the expression on this horse's face. Isn't it wonderful? He looks so keen and excited to be there and looking up at the next jump. And it's just a really sweet looking horse. Who wouldn't like this horse? He's just really, really cute looking. And look at this turnout. His coat is shiny. The mane is braided. The tail looks gorgeous. There's got oil on his feet and the riders turned out lovely. Got gloves on, proper boots and breeches and jacket and helmet and everything. It looks, first impressions look wow. The other thing besides his gorgeous expression is look at the way the bridle fits. It just fits nicely. It's clean. There's no straps that are flapping. That's one thing that judges really dislike is seeing straps that are flapping. Flapping straps. Flaps that are strapping. Straps that are bridle is lovely, looks great, and it, it just overall picture looks really, really good. Thank you for sending in your pictures and real quick, put it in the comments below if you'd like to have your own position review done because I'd love to help you out. I love sharing this information and I want people to be riding better as a result of watching these. So put it down in the comments below if you want to have your position reviewed. The other thing that I really like about this rider is her soft, flat back. She's looking up in this particular picture. She's looking up, looking forward. Her back is nice and flat and her hands are just so thoughtful and not interfering at all with the horse. And in this photograph, you can see the rider looking up and looking forward, looking to her next jump, looking towards the turn. That's another thing that judges look for. Riders that look up and look around the turns. I also love this rider's hands. They're on the horse's neck and so considerate and lovely release, not interfering at all with this horse. There are some things that we'd like to improve, however, and one of them is that you can see from this picture here that she is standing up in her stirrups and pivoting on her knee. This seems to be a really common problem. I see it a lot. You can see from this photograph that she is pinching with her knees. Her lower leg is swung back out behind her and her seat is over top of the pommel, over top of the front of the saddle, and then her shoulders are way in front of the horse. This is not safe and the, horse, you, the rider's not in balance with the horse. So this, this rider's not in balance with her horse. Her, she's pinching with her knee and you can see that her leg is swung back and her front, her, and her body has, is pitched forward onto the horse's neck and she's not in balance with the horse. If the horse were to stumble, fall, trip, or lose its balance, she would go tumbling over the top of the horse's shoulders. So we want to get, shift that weight back over top so that her seat is over top of the saddle and her lower leg is underneath her. We'd like to see this rider bring her seat more towards the middle of the saddle rather than standing up in the stirrups with her seat over top of the pommel or the front of the saddle. We'd like to have her shift her weight back with her seat over top of the center of the saddle and her heels down and forward near closer to where the girth is and bring her shoulders back so that there is a straight line shoulder, knee, toe with the stirrup more in line with the girth of the saddle rather than swinging back. This means you got to let go with your knee, let the weight come down past your knee and into your stirrup and that makes the heel come down and forward and keeping your seat over top of the middle of the saddle with the shoulders more in line with the knee. Think of it as the rising part of the rising trot and if we took this horse from out from underneath this rider, what do you think would happen to this rider? She would be falling forward onto her hands and onto her face. And we want to have the idea that if you took that horse away from her, from underneath her, she would land in a balanced position on her feet. So keep that in mind when you're riding. So how can we help this? How can we help riders do this? 
So how can we help riders do this? How can we help riders get more over the seat of their saddle? One really simple exercise is to practice your two-point position. Practice your two-point position at the halt, at the walk, at the trot, and at the canter. Even at the halt, if you do this at the halt, it will definitely help your balance and keep your balance over top of the horse. A really simple exercise you can do is balance in your two-point position off the horse. Even want to make that one more difficult? Do it on the edge of a stair or a step or a stool. Get a little platform, bottom step of your stairs, stand on the bottom step of your stairs, on the balls of your feet, with your heels hanging over the edge, and practice your two-point like that. That's one way you can tell if you're in the correct position or not. If you did this position on the stairs, you would be falling forward onto your face onto the stairs. You have to be in balance with your horse by keeping the balance down into your feet. Other simple exercises would be to do two-point position. That's an easy one to do. Get in your two-point position at the trot. Keep balanced over top. Balance over top of your horse, over top of your center of your saddle. Keep yourself in balance without falling forward or falling back on the horse's back. If you find that easy, make it a little bit more difficult. Take the palm of your hand, put it on your back, and keep yourself in balance that way. Actually, uh, there's a video that I made about help keeping your position, your lower leg, developing your lower leg. There's a link to it right here. Lots of really good exercise in there. Got five exercises you can do to help with keeping your leg balanced. Ah, not keeping your leg balanced, keeping your body balanced over top of a steady leg. If you don't have a steady leg, you're gonna pinch with your knee and that's when you're gonna pivot and get yourself out of balance. So now let's just talk about the horse. Okay, so now let's just talk about the horse a little bit. So this horse, what a lovely horse. I really like the look of him. You know, coming in the end gate, if I saw this horse coming into the end gate, I think I told you at the beginning of this video what I would think. I'd think, wow, it's a really cute horse. I hope he does well. I'm rooting for you. Really good. Really like this horse. He's so, he's got lots of quality. Uh, the turnout is great. All that type of thing. The one thing that I would notice about this horse when he's going over a jump, and keep in mind, this is just a snapshot, one moment in time of this horse going over a fence. And maybe I wouldn't see it in as he's cantering along going over over the fences but I can tell from this photograph his legs aren't quite even his left leg is up a little bit higher than his right leg so his legs are a little uneven his knees are up and he's and he's using himself nicely nice round arc over his back the other thing I noticed is that his hind legs aren't level his hind legs are split and that's another markdown it's a minor minor thing that you would notice from this horse it looks like his left hind leg is a little bit more in front of his right hind leg so that's another thing that you'd get marked down for you can also see in this photograph here same horse what a lovely expression he has I just love it he looks in good condition but again his left front leg is a little bit higher than his right front leg and again you can see that his hind legs are split a little bit so keep these things in mind when you're doing your hunt around those are just a few comments of this thing so my ideas for this rider is to number one practice your two-point position do your two-point position off the horse as well do it on a set of stairs uh, the bottom step of a set of stairs keeping your heels hung over the edge dangling over the edge so you put your weight down into your heels stretch the weight down and also keep yourself in balance on top of your horse if you'd like to have your own position review done send me an email general overall thought of this horse and rider is yeah really good job really good job on your horse love the horse love the expression of your horse really good job with you Keep the weight down into your feet. Keep your seat over the middle of the saddle. Keep those eyes up and your back flat and you'll be fine. Thanks very much. My name is Laura and if you want tips from a horse show judge, improve your equitation, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or just kind of like other horse related stuff, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks now. Bye bye.